Hey, hey there, Virgo, and welcome to your Abundance and Prosperity reading with me, Melissa Joy, where we're diving into, shall I say the dross, where we're clearing away these old karmic, let's see, let's turn you down a little bit where you can see this, yes, these old karmic fugmuggery things that have been keeping you on the outs with the fullness of who you are. You may have the awareness and the wokeness to who you are, but you couldn't understand the disconnect. You were like, where did it occur? Where did it happen? Well, it's because it happened generations before you and not just in your family line, but in the family line, okay? Part of being human and some of those things that um, didn't all come together for whatever reason. But over here for you are two side cards that you brought in, knowing as the star and the moon. So the thing that is missing so far is the sun, because they talk about when the sun, the star, and the moon align, we come into the center of who we are. Kind of like if you need three points, so you have your third eye, and then you have two base points with which to project from the pyramid, the things to rest on. We have some July and March energy coming in for rooting down. So a lot of this has to do with Pluto moving out of Capricorn. Apparently it has impacted all the earth signs. Um, you, for whatever reason you're showing up here, you know I know where you're the whole zodiac and where all the ingredients of the pie coming together in their unique proportions that make you Virgo, all right? Um, like my Virgo's in midheaven. So this has been impacting more than just my Capricorn sign. It's been impacting my midheaven. It's been impacting my children and my connection with the generation to come and um, because moon and mars are there so it's been holding up any action or progress as well so those are the things that will be coming about in this july and march that we will see and maybe that is when oh okay when the sun is going to rise and not that you won't see glimpses of it beforehand but it will hold in this region and point of time july and they're saying hold your ground where you're at Hold your ground where you're at. You don't have to move or reposition yourself in order to gain this blessing. You have not missed out. You didn't miss the mark, make a mistake, whatever else. Things are yet, just yet to be revealed, okay? That's why the star and the moon are here, but the sun hasn't come yet because by the light of day is when we travel and move about because it's easy to be seen. Right now, it can feel scary. It can feel hard. It can feel challenging. It can feel like things have the upper hand because it's the stuff that is created to navigate at night, the things that move about freely with its nocturnal vision and you're like let's know a little bit about that nocturnal vision and this action going on because that is what is coming in with your pleasure all right oh look at that dynamism mm, I love it so here we're able to start seeing the sun and knowing what we didn't know before okay because it is knowable so it's obvious Look at this. We have some green calcite, polished green calcite coming in, and you're wanting to get a Tic Tac card on that. So, tell us about these nocturnal things that move at night or the nocturnal energy. Talk about some crusty stuff. Finally free of the crust and the disgust. Maybe you've been disgusted with your disgusted with yourself. Maybe you've been disgusted by many people, and you're like, when are those rumors going to stop? Because they seem to have been flourishing like wildfire. They seem to be things that are always rising up and following you everywhere you go, as opposed to your truth, your reputation, your personality. These other things have preceded you, mm, Virgo. I could see how it's been hard because the ripples and the echoes of what came generations before has already kind of contaminated the ground before you even walk on it. So you're wondering, how do I even have a chance? How does Virgo even have a chance? Well, let's start with your soul card, okay? Down at the bottom, we have Lavaria, let love grow. Ooh, look at that. So your head ain't gonna pop. Let the peace spring forth. I don't know what that was set for, but Hiram the Cricket says, let's go. <laughs> let's go. Well, let's step out into the now because the now is the future. What is it dislodging here? Opulence. It's time to lead. And what's wild is Flashover and Boho are here. Okay. So leaving behind this, these old disturbances, this thing from the past, the unknown, the... Um, the uh, unconscious casting itself forward, but it has been the the unconscious unawareness of the people who sowed those seeds. Now, let's get over being angry or frustrated with where it's coming from, because it's showing us that it wasn't like this, oh, 
you're going to pay type of energy. It was really a lot of blinding oneself, ignorance. There's an ignorance unto life, which is um, you simply didn't know. It's kind of that bliss effect. But then there's the ignorance unto death, knowing better, but not doing better. I know I shouldn't, but okay. Those are things that lead you down the path and create that preceding effect. Can you see the crustacean calling out and preceding, setting the next phase for you before you've even gotten there? So it, it has to do with the cycle of defeat. All right. And that could be impacting your love relationship, your reciprocation in this world. Things are coming back to you, but they're not the way you sent them out, not that intention. So first of all, if you are consciously doing things saying, I know I shouldn't, but go ahead and take a look at those. Comb through them and say, why am I doing that? What is that about? What's really undergirding it? Or just simply ask the questions and, and wait. And over a period of a few days, those emails are going to return to you with some wisdom, some um some of your nature showing up that cre creates a more um, organic picture as opposed to a finger pointing, like we're going to find it and pluck it out. Okay. But um, that's where a lot of it was coming from is create a tremendous amount of stress and friction and not knowing how to get to where it is you desire. But you're letting me know that there's an ancient root, your eternal root, your natural root that is springing forth. These antennae, your wisdom, your antlers are coming forth from the base of your soul, your key, your Chiron. So you might check out your chart and see where the key is. It looks like an upside down key with a K type insertion point. That's the Chiron. That's the wound. That's the wound of rejection. That's where maybe things haven't been returning to you the way you thought, the way you intended, and you're wondering what the disconnect is. It's letting us know it's coming from there, but your goldness self comes from there. As when you just embrace whatever it is, like mine comes from the fourth house, like fourth house is gonna be uh, destruction among the spouse, the parents, the the main family members, and um, things coming in and ruffling that up. But Chiron has been working in the nature of self in first house. And so it's going in to help you discover who you are and to recover who you are, to recover your roots, your ancestry from the way you view it. So I would take off those cynical glasses, uh, the glasses of proof and experience and the way things were and the way things are, because that's not actually how they are in the moment. When we take the space to get into the center, the gold of who we are, we meditate and that creates a blank canvas or a new room in which to reflect and to be able to like, project but in the way to a clean slate and back to yourself like asking those questions to a blank page but truly desiring the answers now you don't wait for them like you do a tax you put those questions down in your journal or in your heart during meditation that's pre and I okay clearing of the ancients hmm and anyways, the answers return to you and they return to you in a form that you will not reject. They return to you in, in kind of like a scavenger hunt, like a, a riddle of pieces of puzzles that after a period of time, jot those little words or clues or symbols or um, um, things that pop up before your mind's eye, whether it's a t-shirt or a license plate or a bumper sticker or a bird or whatever it else. And over a week or two, go back and look at what showed up under that question. And then sit and meditate with that and watch what begins to show up in the center of who you are. The wisdom that comes forward as opposed to a this versus that, a right versus wrong, a dark versus light, a me versus them. It's doing away with that. Now, y'all, apparently this is almost your whole reading because you're already there, Virgo. I love it. I love this goal in itself, but no longer having to hide behind the mask or the masquerade or the, the fasting versus the, the feasting, the, the fat versus the lean, the have versus have not. They're wanting to clear that away and get you into the righteousness of who you are, which is like your kingdom, your throne, your, um, your giftings. And so some of you, it may be in your career house. Okay. So it might be in your sixth house. It might be in your 10th house. Um, 10th house is kind of what you do, whether you get paid for it or not. And often that's where things can really launch forward from. Some of you, it may be your part of fortune. Now your part of fortune could show up anywhere, but it looks like a circle with an X all the way through it, touching the edges. Now that lets you know where your treasure is. Okay. Now you could look up free part of fortune and Google it, and you'll find a different site to take you to that and find out where yours is. Now mine happens to be in Leo. So it is when I start to shine and really resonate with the sun, 
thing, which I do, and to step forward and to share what has been revealed to me. So starting this channel is a very vital part of stepping into my treasury because as I'm sharing with y'all, I'm discovering as well. I'm just the microphone. I sit back and listen to these also. So they're a benefit to us all. You're letting me know your gifting here is a benefit to all. So just because it has to do with wealth and relationship and we could say people thrusting you into the limelight and appreciating you, even if it's a little uncomfortable. Um, I would say, you know, take time and breathe and move through that and allow yourself time to adjust to what that new feeling is. But it's showing me that as you benefit and flourish, so do those around you. So do those around you, whether they're known or unknown, whether it's strangers or people at stores that you bump into, whatever else it is while you out spending that money and buying things for other people. You're a generous nature. So they're like, okay, okay. This is one of the other mastery cards up there. See gratitude. It says, give yourself some credit. That's what pre and I, that's what the ancestry, that's what your golden self, your root is saying. Give yourself some credit. Know that as you abound and flourish, because this is what's coming from behind it, we're overriding the stagnation. As you begin to abound and flourish, it is coming from somewhere. You know that, but they're saying, let us do this for you. Appreciate it because we trust you to share generously and not like it is a, um, a condition by any means of what you have to perform under or what is expected. It's actually part of your personality. And remember how we started off this reading of feeling like you couldn't live in your personality, the results that were coming weren't reflecting your intention, your personality, your reputation, how you've sown things and how you see things. Well, that's where it's wanting to return to you is financially. So finances are a way to show you pragmatically and practically, right? Virgo, an earth sign is showing up in an earthen manner so that you can share that earthen love, that earthen vision that you have. And that becomes the golden self, the solar to add to the sun and the moon going on here, the star and the moon coming in. You are the perspective that matters. It brings it all together. That uh, reflects a form of love to others. Maybe you're very complimentary or you remember people's birthdays or you give them a shout out for great work if you're someone in a position of authority. Um, you show honor where honor is due. They're really wanting to hold that on you, Virgo, because there's part of you that just wants to serve for the sake of serving. But just because something serves you as well doesn't mean that you're selfish or underhanded or greedy or doing things for the wrong reasons. Those are all lies. And that's what these traps are. Look, that's what these traps are going on down here. Okay. And that's what you're being delivered from. See these old traps? Because if you don't come out, how could anyone else? All right. Earth signs, when you're not coming out, you're down in a grave. It's like being down in the depths of hell, being buried alive. All right. And so, so many people's souls are screaming and crying out for a savior. Now you're not their savior, but as your light begins to shine, they can see to start to navigate their way out of the perils of the darkness. All right. And to discover who they are because you're someone who appreciates and celebrates others. But that's what life is saying. That's what your ancestors are saying here is just as you love and serve others, let us love and serve you. Just because it's coming from a variety of places, know that it's always coming from us. And maybe, dare I say here, friend, that is your connecting point. Knowing that it's coming from those who love you, have already passed on or gone on to the other side, they have a clear perspective. And as they're bringing these in, they get to see you enjoy. They get to see you stretch out. They get to see you meditate and grow through this practical, pragmatic form because it is a way to love and serve others, not purely just from your strength and from your life force, because that has been diminishing your returns and that is diminishing your wellness, that is diminishing your wholeness, W-H-O-L-E and has been leaving an H-O-L-E, okay? That's the only element that's been missing here. It's not that you've been doing anything wrong. It's that you couldn't love from the place where your love comes from. Your love comes from many, and you are loving as many, but they're saying, let us love you. Let us serve you. Let us facilitate the way you love and serve others. Because as we know today, you give someone a compliment, they might get a little happy, but they're all those little uh, one-minute shorts on YouTube of like Jimmy, Jimmy Darts or whoever, where they give $500 to somebody and the person begins breaking down and crying because we are not the, just that money talks, but we're in a world and an era where money has been the um, oppressor. 
and the thing that has been defeating many people. So sometimes it springs forth eternal hope that another human being would care in a way that is so tangible and practical. Well, that's something I'd like you to think about there, Virgo. You could also leave your comments and compliments down below. I'd love to hear from you, the people on the other side. Maybe I'll even write myself, okay? Because I do show up to listen to these as well. Some of you may want to check out the Pisces in your read because some of the things that are showing up right here may be the Aquarius reading as well. Trust yourself, okay? That's why my titles are very direct to what the, the reading is about so your soul, your spirit, and your guide can lead you to those fresh waters that are nourishing to who you are in your journey. Anyways, that's a lot of words. Just know, clearing of that. I love you. Bye.